Hi, this is Linda at Zodiac Ranch, and we just had a new baby born yesterday. So I thought I'd show you a little bit what I do. Day one when the baby's born. So, you can see, this little guy's looking good and spunky. He was born about 2.30 or 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon, and uh, it was a little bit of a hard birth. My friends had to help me with, but everything came out fine. Coco, his mama here, is being a little bit of a nervous Nelly. We have her locked in the barn because it was in a storm last night, and I like to just have them be together with their baby for a day or so until they bond and everything. She's got her friend Cinderella in here with her, but she still wants to be out with the herd. So after we check on the baby and everything here, we're gonna let them out. And I just saw him do a good nursing. When you're checking them, you want to make sure that they're nursing even they might have their nose under there but you want to make sure that they get latched on and are actually sucking and swallowing and you want to weigh the babies every day so yesterday he was 16.2 pounds which is a normal size for a baby and um, this morning he's still at 16.2 but the first day that's pretty normal sometimes it takes a little while for them to start gaining oh, there he goes he's pretty good and spunky that's what you want to see if they're at all weak or not getting up around like this then you want to start um, Doing some more proactive measures, you might need to give them a plasma transfer or something. But so far, this guy's looking really good. So, one thing I'm going to do here this morning is put a little swat on his ears. This is um, sort of like Vaseline with some fly repellent in it because, in the middle of the summer, like it is right now, the flies are just really bad and they can really bite their ears and cause irritation. So I'm going to put some of this on his ears. Okay, so he's got a little bit of swat on his ears and a little bit on the bridge of his nose just to keep the flies off of him. And uh, I don't like to do it like right the minute they're born because the mama has to learn what his smell is and you don't want him getting all uh, the smell all weird. Okay, another thing I like to do on day one with the babies is give them a shot of Boise. So the newborn just gets a uh, half a cc of Boise and it just helps give them a little boost um, with the selenium and the vitamin E and things. And I just use a small syringe, like a three cc. He's only getting a half of a cc with this, and I like for the babies to use the 20 gauge needle. So it's just a little finer. But the adults, when they get their shots, we usually use an 18 gauge. But for babies, we like to give them the use the 20s. Okay, so for those of you that aren't familiar with doing shots. You want to put the syringe in the top, and I'm having a hard time filming and doing it at the same time. So you see how I have a little bit of air in the syringe? So you push the air in, then you turn this upside down and pull out how much liquid you need in your syringe. So see how I have now about a half inch, or half a ml of liquid in the syringe. And then I'm going to go give it to him. So when I 
give the shot. I like to find a spot right near here where you can pull the skin up. You just put the needle just under the skin and insert the fluid. I kind of keep like to keep it sort of parallel to their body so you're not just like poking it in like this. Okay, so do it more like this, just under the skin. So here's the little guy nursing. And kind of see they see if I can get a little closer. So just trying to sneak in a little bit closer. Oh shoot. Sorry. Anyway, the mom alpaca has four teeth for them to nurse on. And they kind of go from one to the other and just do like a quick little nurse. I'm gonna try for it again. She wants to go out with their friends. Here's another important part of checking on your newborn baby. So he's now going to to go potty, I think. So, we want to see if all of his parts are working properly. You can see from this angle. Oh, there you go, buddy. Good view. It's really hard to see when they do their little poops because it's just like little grains of rice. Their first uh, little poops is called meconium. This can be sort of like a dark color is normal. And then their other normal little boots after that are just very small, like a grain of rice, so it's very hard to see it unless you touch them in act doing it. But if it looks like they're getting lethargic after like their first day or so, or if it looks like they're straining, sometimes you have to give them an enema just to get things going. My little guy The other thing I'm going to do this morning for this mama, since she's being so nervous, and I think she might still be a little sore from her birth yesterday, I'm going to give her a little dose of banamine. This is the uh, um, regular name for it, Nixon, but everybody just calls it banamine. And the dose for this is one, two, one ml to a hundred pounds so they don't get very much it's like a painkiller and a fever reducer so if you have an animal with fever this is good to give them okay so Ruthann's here now to help and she's gonna demonstrate how we weigh the baby so it's good to get a weight right when they're first born now he was born yesterday about three o'clock oh, is very protective so we have this scale that's kind of like a scale you have at a vet's office and the little reader is up there the screen so what did you get at him Ruthann? 16.2 okay good job baby so he held his weight overnight he was 16.2 yesterday good job thanks Ruthann <laughs> This is something else you might want to have on hand for when your new baby comes. Uh, this is called a colostrum replacer. And um, it's there's also a product called colostrum supplement, which is different. It's 
so this is called the replacer it has the actual IgG's in it and so I gave him a little bit last night just because I wasn't sure how much he was nursing it's a dry powder and you mix it with water I mix it half water and half powder so when they're just like for starting out they only drink a little bit at a time so I gave him I think I mixed up a batch with a quarter cup of water and a quarter cup of the powder you want it a little bit warm and I just get it got it into it last night with a syringe but you can also if they need more use it like a baby bottle with a Pritchard nipple just to show you what the Pritchard nipple looks like um, this is how it comes I usually just get it at tractor supply it's a good idea to have it on hand before you need it and the screw on is different than just like a, one of the cheap water bottles so you gotta have find and keep on hand like a bottle with this kind of bigger threads on it and bottle feeding will be a different video someday but when you get these they don't have any hole in the tip so you gotta like take some scissors and cut off like a small part of the tip you don't want to make it a real big hole to begin with when they're newborns they can't like swallow like huge gulps at a time so you want to just small little stream to come out not gushing out okay so it's better to start with just a tiny hole and then if you don't think they're getting enough you can cut a little more off but you can't go back the other way very easily so get some of these and have in your Korea kit bye try to show you something else here on this new baby um, if you're not real sure um, if they uh, are like premature you can look in their mouth at their teeth and I already do it when I'm trying to film. Here, stand up, buddy. Stand up. 